All right, in today's video, we're going to be learning about sales. Um, when you go into stores throughout your entire life, all sorts of stores are going to have sales uh, where you're going to get money off of whatever an item is originally priced at. Um, they try to use sales to get you to buy things, come on in um, and spend money. It's a really good marketing technique to help stores get or to sell different things. So we're going to go into a store and pretend we're going into a store to try to figure out, well, what are we going to pay uh, after all the sale is done for a certain object? So we're going to say we're going to walk into a shoe store. We're out getting shoes at the mall. And this shoe store is offering a sale for 25% off everything in the store. So every shoe, whatever the original price is, you get to take 25% of that price and subtract it from it uh, and then pay a lower number. So there are two strategies we can use to figure this out. And this is something that I will do all the time when I'm in a store. I'll pull out my phone and my calculator and I'll calculate this before I get up to the register so that I can know what I'm actually paying. So let's say we found a pair of shoes that was $85, okay? $85 normally on the rack. They're sweet shoes, totally amazing. Everyone's going to love them when I show them off. Well, we have we can take 25% off of them. So that means we have to first find, well, what is 25% of 85? Well, to find a percent of a number, we know we take that number and multiply it by the percent in a decimal form. So 25% in a decimal form is 0 0.25. So our first step is to figure out, well, what is $85 times 0 0.25? And that's going to tell us how much money we get to take off of our shoes. So I hop over 85 times 0 0.25, and I get this number of $21.25, which means I get to take $21.25 off of the original price. So now I have to do a second step. I start with my starting price, which was $85, and I'm going to subtract $21.25. We know that $85, we can add a couple of zeros too. So let's do this subtraction and figure out exactly what we would be paying. All right, so I'm going to do this quick. I have confidence that you know how to do some subtracting. So as I work it out here, I would pay, when it's all said and done with my sale, I would pay $63.75 for those shoes. You can see I saved some money, which is 25% less than what the original price is. Now we can do this a second way and save ourselves a step. If we're getting to take 25% off of shoes, Technically, what we are doing is we are paying for 75% of the shoes. And we know that because we know that 100% of the shoes would be $85. So if we're taking away the 25%, that means for these shoes, we're actually paying 75% of them. So let's take 85 and figure out, well, what is 75% of 85? Well, we would take 85, we would times it by the decimal number 0 0.75, which is the decimal equivalent to 75%. All right, I'm going to go over here, $85 times 0 0.75, because we're paying for 75% of the shoes, and I get $63.75, the exact same number that I got over there. Okay, so this, this method will save you a step. Another example would be, let's say if we had a sale for uh, 40%, right? If our sale was 40% 40, 40 off, that means we would be paying for 60% of the shoes because whatever the percent off is, we just have to see, well, how much is do I still need to go to get to 100%? And that's how much of the shoes we would be playing or paying for. So either method works, we get the same answer. So you can pick the way that you think kind of works better in your brain. All right, good luck as you work through the next few problems.